So today I'm going to make a uh, lid jar, cover jar. The jar is going to be with the uh, simple lid. And put the gallery on the body. This piece of clay is about uh, around two pounds, not quite. And if you want to put the uh, gallery on the on the top, uh, make sure you when you lift your wall, the uh, keep the uh, the rim a bit thicker. So I'm making the rim, this part here, a bit thicker and, uh, so that uh, I will be able to compress the uh, gallery using the um, a wooden rib. So this wooden rib, there's 90 degrees here. So the 90 degree is fitting maybe a little bit more than half, halfway and then uh, push it down. So I'm holding the rib this way and with the finger underneath to support it while uh, the wheel spinning and just, just push down. And stabilize all the fingers together. And then after that, uh, use a, a, a chamois to clean up the little roughness on the edge. Alright, so before we remove from the wheel, make sure uh, you measure the width. So this caliper it measure from this end to this end and uh, you can make your lid a tiny little bit larger because when you are trimming these are all adjustable you can make it a, a nicer better fit So for the lid to the body, uh, I'm just going to make a upside down lid, meaning I will trim in, I will trim the knob later on when it's laser hard. Uh, just make it simple. So basically just make a very shallow, uh, shallow bowl. And then with the body, with the bottom a bit thicker so that I will have uh, more clay to trim the knob. So I'll make the base a little bit taller from here to here, so that uh, maybe uh, about one, uh, one inch thick, so that I have room to trim for uh, the knob. Right, so it's about right from here to here. But I would uh, prefer a little bit shallow so that I don't have so much dome, a little bit shallow. So I will stretch it out a tiny little bit and then uh, trim, trim the, because uh, when I stretch it out, it, it's going to be a little bit wider. Right, so it's about right.
Okay, just simply a shallow ball on the upside down. Um, I will trim to fit later on. Right, I'm ready to trim this uh, simple lidded jar. I'll trim the body first. I'm using my number three carbide tool first.
All right, so this is the uh, finished lid jar. Just uh, the uh, simple lid. Okay, just a small uh, dish, and you trim the knob. And I spend quite a bit of a time to uh, do the uh, decorations on uh, scovitos uh, using um, black slip, and then uh, my carving tools, the uh, scovito tools. Uh, I was using the medium medium size. I have smaller and the large and the medium. And this line was using the medium size of uh, the scurvito tool. And uh, when you do scurvito, make sure that uh, you let the, uh, the surface dry a little bit. Uh, it brush your slip and then let it dry in maybe like 30 minutes. So it will be easier to just go through easily, okay, easily. So that's the uh, Scorpio tool. Uh, I have it uh, uh, on my Etsy if you want to uh, pick up some. And uh, also I was using this, my plastic glass. Okay. Uh, if you don't use it uh, for compressing, there's a lot of uh, information there that uh, eco parts. So I was finding eco parts by putting there and finding the eco size so it's easier for me to get the uh, lines distribute more evenly and that way they look nicer all right so hope this help just simple uh, cover jar but uh, with a lot of uh, decoration I spent quite time quite some time total hour maybe like uh, two two hours of uh, doing this and uh, end up with uh, uh, you get a very nice result even if it's a very simple form you get a very nice result All right so thanks for watching and see you next time